Now what we have to do in each case now is find the slope of each of these lines. We don't choose when we're looking to uh, find the rise over run to get the slope. We don't use any of the actual data points. What we do is we look for a point where the line crosses the intersection, hopefully, at either extreme of the grid. And if we can't find it, this point here, for example, is a nice one because we know now that that's exactly 9 and this one is exactly 7.5, uh, exactly 8. So I'm going to come down here and look for another point like that. And this one here looks like that's another point, like that. So I've got this here and here. So this ordered pair is going to be 2 and 3.75. And this ordered pair up here is going to be, I use my ruler to make sure I'm in the right place, is 8 and 9. I'm going to put the um, ordered pairs in for the other two lines as well. So in the case of this one, it looks like we have a nice intersection point here, crossing the grid of my graph paper. And we have another one just here. So, this data point up here is 8.5. Notice how I use a ruler because your eyes can wander. 8.5 and this one is 9.75. And this one down here is 0.75 and 3.75. I'm now going to look at the upper worst line of best fit. And I've got a good intersection point there. And I'm going to look one for one down low. This one looks pretty good. So again, I use my ruler. That's 1.25. This one up here is 7 and 9.75. Did I make a mistake over here? I did, yeah. So 7 and 9.75. If I look at this one over here, the red one, I've actually mislabeled it. It's actually 8.75, not 9.75. Again, a good reason to use the ruler properly. I let my eyes wander a little bit there. So now what I do is I need to get the slopes of each of these. So I'm going to do a, a little table over here, get everything in order, and I'm going to have the... Um, I'll use color coding in a second and we'll call this our um, time, seconds, and our distance in meters. And for the, um, let's see, we've got the um, start over here. That would be the um, first and the last. So we're talking about 0.75. 3.75, we're talking about um, 8.5 and 8.75, the green one, our first and our last, in seconds we've got uh, 2 and 3.75, 8 and 9. And first, 
and last. I'm leaving space here because I'm planning to do some calculations on the page and I don't want to have um, the numbers all over the place so I leave myself a little bit of space to do this properly. So we've got 1.25 and 2.75 and 7 and 9.75. There. So in order to get the difference, because really if I want to find a slope, I need to say it's rise over run, which is going to be always the last minus the first of the vertical axis divided by the last minus the first of the horizontal. So in this case I'm going to look here and I've got I'll put my delta in here which means the change the last minus the first is 6 the last minus the first here is 5.25 delta here is 8.5 minus 0.75 which is um, 6.25 and this one here is 8.75 minus 3.75 which is 5.0 on this one here 7 minus 1.25 which is 5.75 and here 9.75 minus 2.75 is 7. So we've got this, we now want to calculate the slope. The slope is going to be delta x over delta t, which in this case is 5 meters divided by 6.25 seconds. The slope in this case is delta x over delta t, which is um, 5.25 meters over 6 seconds. And the slope in this case here is um, delta x over delta t equals 7 meters over 5.75. I'm going to quickly do a calculation for this. We've got um, 5 divided by 6.25. Oh, 6. Point. Oh, no, it's uh, 5 divided by 6.25, which is 0.8. So this is 0.8 meters per second. That's what the slope is. It's the speed because it's a distance divided by a time. This one here is 5.25 divided by 6. Seem to get, be getting some key bounce here, and I get a different machine. 5.25 divided by 6 is 8.75, 0 0.875 rather, meters per second. And this final one is 7 divided by 5.75. is 1.22 meters per second. Now what I want to do in order to be quoting an uncertainty I look at these two lines and I say which one of these two worst lines of best fit 
actually has the largest deviation from our line of best fit. And it's pretty obvious that it's this one here. So in order to find the uncertainty in the slope, I'm going to take the slope of this one. It's going to be 1.22 meters per second minus 0.875 meters per second. Minus uh, 0.875 is 0.34 meters per second, which is a pretty big error when the median is 0.875. So what we've got here in terms of the speed based on this set of data is a speed which is in fact the slope of the line of best fit equal to 8.875 plus or minus 0.34 meters per second. Now probably what I want to do here is actually make this 0.88 plus or minus 0.34 meters per second so that we're consistent with the uh, number of significant figures. And finally, I should put a label on the graph, and I call it a figure. Usually you put the figure number, for figure number one, and I'm going to call it um, distance versus time for a an accelerating object. But is it accelerating? Not necessarily. We'll have to find that out another time.